taxes and revenue generating tools on the agenda at City Council. Mayor Olivia Chow speaking ahead of that meeting. Let's listen in live. On mattresses with no room beside them. And there's also stuck because there's no room in our shelters either. You've heard me talked about this a few weeks ago. We were able to create some shelter spaces, some hotel rooms. They filled up immediately. And here we are again. And you can see this crisis in the encampments in uh, various parks. We try to take some of the folks to shelters. We've been successful. But when we do that, others are come, uh, are camping out. Why? Because the city of Toronto, every night, turn away at least 200, whether they're refugees or homeless people, every night. They just literally have no where to go. We used to be that a third of our 10,000 homeless people, a third of them, i.e. three out of 10 <clears throat> or four out of 10, uh, were refugees. Now half, 50% of the homeless folks are refugees. Situations are just desperate. And today, there are, in front of council, there are three items. One is on refugees. The second one is on housing. The third one is about long-term financial plan. All three of them are interconnected. <clears throat> Why are we in such a crisis in the refugee situation? It's because the city of Toronto just does not have the financial means to manage them. We are today, again, asking the federal government to step up, just like they did when there were um, Ukrainian refugees arriving to Toronto. They stepped up and were able to um, have a, uh, uh, a solution through Red Cross, a reception center, and then hotel rooms. And they were paid for by the federal government, uh, administered by us, but it was paid by the feds. And, you know, um, I saw recently, well, actually, I was recently, uh, not last week, and the weekend before, I was at a wedding. And the groom, the, uh, the lucky fellow, are from Uganda, marrying one of my friend, um, Amanda. Had this marriage been in Uganda or in Nigeria, and if he was marrying another man, they would have been jailed. Every one of the, um, the guests would have been arrested or charged, and their identities are made public. That's why we have a lot of the refugees coming to Canada, that especially in African communities, uh, countries. They are in fear of their lives, <clears throat> whether it's for economic or violence or persecution because of who they are. So we have to build housing because we have a housing crisis in our hands. We have to deal with the refugees. Uh, the motion that I have on homes are building 25,000 more homes above what the city is already planning. And uh, the other one is about the long-term um, financial stability a plan. Within that plan, there are two aspects. <clears throat> one aspect is what the city can do like the mansion, uh, asking people that are buying houses that are <clears throat> more than $3 million, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're asking people that are buying houses that are luxury houses to pay a bit more. But 
all of the or uh, speculators that are leaving their uh, apartments um, empty in the middle of a housing crisis that they should pay a bit more. So all of those things the city of Toronto has the power to do. We're debating that one aspect. The other aspect that we are discussing is what uh, we're asking the federal and provincial government to do. There are discussion of um, sales tax and uh, or uh, gas tax or any number of uh, all forms. One of one, it's one of the many options. I was around when um, former Mayor David Miller was asking the federal government to step up and have the one cent solution, which is one cent of the existing GST. Uh, the federal government did lower the GST, but unfortunately did not provide the funding to the, to the cities and uh, municipalities across Canada. Uh, we will All right, Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow, we've just been listening in as she speaks ahead of a council meeting uh, coming up in about uh, 20 minutes' time now. They're going to be talking about all kinds of different potential solutions to Toronto's huge $1.5 billion budget hole. You just heard her mentioning the refugee crisis in the city as a desperate crisis, also stressing the housing affordability situation as well in the city. So lots to get to, and we'll have uh, complete coverage of that throughout the day here on CP24.